Hello everyone and welcome back to Pokemon Fire Red, the last episode of Pokemon Fire Red. In this episode, we are going to take down the final member of the Elite Four and we'll see the credits because it's the last episode. Before we begin, let's go ahead and take a look at Lance's team. I'm really nervous about this one. So Lance is going to be just a force to be reckoned with. Now, his Gyarados doesn't change that much, although it does now know a Dragon Dance, Earthquake, Thunder Wave, and Hyper Beam. That Earthquake is going to uh, kind of really hurt some Electric types, but I do believe, I do believe, and I do hope that we will be able to outspeed this Gyarados and hopefully hit it with Clefable's Thunder. That's my hope here, uh, although I might end up using Chew. I'm undecided about what we'll do, so we'll find out in the heat of the moment. Hit this thing with an Electric Tech, though, and just as usual, it will go down. Next, we're going to look at his Dragonite. This is his first Dragonite. He has two now. This knows Hyper Beam, Earthquake, Dragon Claw, and Flamethrower. Only weak to Ice times 4, Rock, and Dragon. Now, of course, we are going to use Vaporeon. Vaporeon, our dear old Poseidon, is going to be able to resist that Flamethrower, no problem, and be able to dish down that Ice damage with Ice Beam, no problemo. And I'm hoping that Dragonite will go down in one hit because, because that's a super powerful super powerful Pokemon that I don't want to deal with. Next is going to be Lance's brand new Pokemon, Kingdra, an evolved form of Seedra. Uh, I've talked about this Pokemon before, but we've never actually looked at a bio for it, so here it is. Uh, Water Dragon type, it knows the moves Hyper Beam, Dragon Dance, Surf, and Ice Beam. It is only weak to Dragon. Now, that Surf would really hurt us, so does that kind of Ice Beam. What I'm thinking is that we switch to Bahamut. Now, it does have a 95 in both of its defenses, meaning that this thing's going to be very tanky. Tanky. I think that we switch to Bahamut, we kind of sacrifice Bahamut, see if we can get a Dragon Claw in, and just hope that Dragon Claw will somehow do a tremendous amount of damage. I'm unsure if it will or not. Next, we're going to look at his second Dragonite. This is his, uh, probably going to be his final Pokemon. The same rules apply. Now, it knows Thunderbolt, though, so it will be able to really hurt Vaporeon. It also knows Outrage, Ice Beam, and Hyper Beam. Again, though, hit this thing with an Ice-type attack if you can first, and it should go down. Next, we'll look at Aerodactyl. Aerodactyl has now become one hell of a Pokemon. It's move pool. It got rid of Wing Attack for Aerial Ace. It got rid of Scary Face for Ancient Power. Uh, and it knows Earthquake and Hyper Beam. This thing is going to hit you hard. But again, it's so frail in its physical defense that if we hit this with a Rock-type attack... Uh, or a steel type attack, it's going to hurt. It's going to do some damage. Most of the things that we have will take down this Aerodactyl, so I'm not, I'm more worried about his Dragonites, to be completely honest, and his Kingdra, surprisingly. We have got this. Let's go ahead. That's all he says that's new is, ah, oh, so you've returned, Corey. Yes, let's go. He knows, we know that Dragon are mythical Pokemon. Of course we know. And we are going to lead with, uh, I believe I have Clefable leading this party. Now, I would actually recommend leading with, uh, say, your Raichu, for instance, is actually what we should have led with here. But I, I have faith. I have faith in Luna. I really do. I think Luna can win this for us. If she doesn't, then I hate her. Uh, so we'll go ahead, use Thunder. It's going to come off with a Thunder Wave right off the bat, which is a kind of a problem, uh, because now we have 70 accuracy and we're going to miss. Uh, so chances are we're going to miss and be paralyzed. He's going to use Earthquake, which is fine. Um, this is better than what Gyarados could do. So Gyarados, typically in test runs, has actually, and that will be the end of Gyarados. In test runs, Gyarados has actually Dragon Danced uh, while I was missing with Thunder, and then came back and killed me. Now it is worth mentioning that Chu also has enough power to be able to one-shot um, that Gyarados, but I wanted to make sure that we saved Chu. That we saved Chu for just a little while. Now, he's going to send out a Kingdra next. We are actually going to send out Bahamut, who is carrying a Dragon Scale. The Dragon Scale powers up the moves of Dragon-type attacks, and luckily for us, our Bahamut has Dragon Claw. That should take this, uh, this Kingdra down to about half. It's going to probably hit us with a Surf. Oh my god, we got a crit. Yeah, we got a crit. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Down goes Kingdra. Now it's going to send out a Dragonite. Of course, the only solution to a Dragonite is to send out our very own Poseidon. Poseidon is holding a Never Melt Ice, which means that our ice damage, our ice abilities, our ice moves are going to do significantly more damage. This is his highest level uh, Dragonite, who is going to start off with a Thunderbolt right off the bat, which is not actually going to do as much damage as you would think against us. 
Uh, less than 100 damage, only 90 damage. That's pretty crazy. This Ice Beam will absolutely destroy a level 72 Dragonite. I mean, practically one-shot it. Oh, wait. Entirely one-shot it because we have that Never Melt Ice now. That is wonderful. And we'll hit level 66, which is wonderful because his next Pokemon, odds are, is going to be another Dragonite. So we're going to stay in. Obviously, if we could take out a 72, we can take out a level 66. So we'll go ahead, use Ice Beam. He's going to use Earthquake on us again. It's not really going to hurt us that much. Um, Earthquake hurts us actually a little bit more than it feels like. Anyways, it hurts us a little bit more than, uh, than Thunderbolt did. But we will take down this Dragonite in one hit. Now... His last Pokemon is going to be a level 70 Aerodactyl. There are many things you could do here. Uh, I'm going to choose to stay in just because we are a water type, so like we do have that advantage. And I'm actually going to Ice Beam. He's going to Hyper Beam. Odds are this is going to kill us because Hyper Beam is physical in this game and he has such a huge physical attack. Uh, so that did kill us. That's unfortunate. Um, I kind of expected that though, so I can't. I can't get too mad, you know what I mean? I can't get too mad. So we're gonna send Chu out. Chu's going to use Thunderbolt, uh, and that should bring this uh, Aerodactyl down to a little bit less than half. Maybe even closer to in the red, if I'm not entirely mistaken. Perfect. So he's going to hit us. Uh, no, he has to recharge. Then he's going to use an item, which is perfect, uh, because now we just beat Lance, because we are faster than this Aerodactyl. So we'll go ahead, we'll hit him, and then he, because uh, he can't use an attack on this turn, and the next turn, we're just going to wipe him out. So, that's great. It's just wonderful. He's going to use another full restore. You son of a bitch! Alright, that's fine. He's going to use a full restore. I'm going to be a little cheeky here. I'm going to be a little cheeky, guys. I'm going to do something a little crazy. So, Aerodactyl is going to go down again to the red. Uh, unless we get a crit. Oh my god, it didn't go down to the red. Alright, fine. I'm not going to be cheeky. I was going to use Brick Break and kill Aerodactyl just because I thought that that would be funny. But fine, we'll take him out a normal way. Whatever. And down goes Aerodactyl. 3,000 experience for defeating Lance. Uh, for defeating that Aerodactyl. I hate to admit it, but you are a Pokemon Master. It's true. We are. Uh, I still can't believe my dragons lost to you, Cory. You are now the Pokemon League Champion. Or you would have been, but you have one more challenge left. There is one more trainer to face. His name is Friesen. He beat the Elite Four before you. He is the real Pokemon League Champion. Alright. Before you go in here, make sure you are all set. And let's go ahead and take a look at Friesen's team. Friesen now leads with Heracross. He got rid of his Pidgeot, and now he leads with a bug fighting type Pokemon that knows the moves Megahorn, Earthquake, Counter, and Rock Tomb. With those stats, that's very scary. However, if we look at his weaknesses, he has a quad weakness to flying, and a, a weakness to fire, and a weakness to psychic. Meaning that Bahamut, or Charizard, is like the best counter to this Pokemon. We will use Fly, and Heracross will die. Oh, that was a nice rhyme. Anyways, moving on. The next Pokemon that he will have is Tyranitar. He actually abandoned his Rhydon and chose Tyranitar, perhaps one of the strongest Pokemon in Gen 2. Its stats are incredible. But don't let that fool you. It has so many weaknesses. Now, it does have a base physical defense of 110, but it is four times weak to fighting. That means that Hitmonlee is going to be able to wreck this Pokemon. Now, it does know Crunch, Earthquake, Thunderbolt, and Aerial Ace, meaning that it does counter, for the most part, almost all of his uh, of the Pokemon that he has weaknesses to, except for Steel types. So if you do have a Steel type, you can probably come in and do some serious damage. Although I suppose Ground is not the best thing that you want to go against if you're Steel. Next, we'll look at Alakazam, a Pokemon that he is still holding on to. The, he will have these three Pokemon, no matter who your starter was. Uh, Alakazam, not much has changed, still weak to Bug, Ghost, and Dark. However, he does have new moves now. He has Psychic, Shadow Ball, Calm Mind, and Reflect. Again, I do believe that we will be able to deal with this Pokemon absolutely no problemo uh, with a Megahorn from Nidoking. Next, we'll go ahead and look at his Gyarados. He only has Gyarados if he doesn't have Blastoise. So Gyarados knows Hydro Pump, Dragon Dance, Hyper Beam, and Earthquake. Do not let this thing set up a Dragon Dance. It will. It does have the potential of sweeping a team. This is this is true fact. Uh, it also has the Intimidate ability, so don't have any physical attackers. Again, any Electric-type attack is honestly going to destroy this Pokemon because of that four times weakness. Next, we are going to look at Arcanine. Ar he has Arcanine if you don't, if he doesn't have Charizard. Uh, this Arcanine knows Extreme Speed, Overheat, 
Aerial Ace, and Iron Tail. That's one hell of a move pool. And it's weak to ground, rock, and water. Also has Intimidate, so be careful around an Arcanine. Honestly, we're going to rely on our Poseidon or Vaporeon to really show this Arcanine what is up. I'm not that worried about this Arcanine, although it does pose the most potential to ruin our day. Now, next is Executor. He will have Executor if he does not have Venusaur. It knows the moves Giga Drain, Sleep Powder, Psychic, and Light Screen. I'm not worried about this Pokemon at all. Like I've said countless times, Executor is not a very good Pokemon. Uh, even though it does have good stats, that typing just honestly ruins it. That four times weakness to bug is going to mean that yet again, Nidoking is going to be able to destroy this thing with a super powerful Mega Horn. Next, we're going to look at Blastoise. Obviously, he will have a Blastoise if you chose Charizard. It knows the moves Hydro Pump, Ice Beam, Earthquake, and Rain Dance. Rain Dance will make it so that its water attacks are through the roof powerful. Now, it is uh, weak to grass and electric, but with those stats, you're going to need it to hit it very, very hard. Even Chu does not stand a chance of one-shotting this Pokemon. Next, uh, if you have a uh, Venusaur, he will have a Charizard. It knows the moves Fire Blast, Dragon Claw, Earthquake, and Aerial Ace. This thing will really hurt your Venusaur, so don't, don't send that against it. It is obviously four times weak to rock. We know this, we have our own Charizard, so again, hit this thing with a rock-type attack, and honestly, it'll probably die, as we've seen numerous times in our playthroughs. Next, and finally, if you uh, have Blastoise, he will have Venusaur. Venusaur knows Solar Beam, Sludge Bomb, Sunny Day, and Earthquake. That Sludge Bomb and Solar Beam are very, very strong. And it only has four weaknesses and only two times weaknesses to Flying, Fire, Ice, and Psychic. So make sure you're using something that can take down this incredibly bulky Pokemon. Uh, it's very good. It's a very hard Pokemon, and I'm very glad we aren't going against it. We're all healed up. Let's begin the very last battle of Pokemon Fire Red. Here we go, it is freezing. Our gaming community, let's plays, whatever. Hey, Cory, you came back. Ha, <laughs> that's so great. My rival should be strong to keep me sharp. While working on my Pokedex, I looked all over for Pokemon. Not only that, but I assembled teams that would beat any Pokemon type. And now, I'm the Pokemon League champion. Cory, do you know what that means? I'll tell you. I am the most powerful trainer in the world. Let's go. Cory versus Freezing! Alright, let's go. The final battle of Pokemon Fire Red. This is crazy. This series began so long ago. It took a little bit of a hiatus, but now we're gonna begin again. Level 72 Heracross. Four times weak to flying, though, so I'm going to use Fly, and that should kill this Heracross in one hit. I would be very, very, very unfortunately surprised if it does not, because Heracross is a force to be reckoned with. Now, it is worth mentioning that I gave Bahamut his charcoal back, so his fire type attacks are going to do even more damage, and we're going to hit level 66. That's what I want to see out of my Bahamut, baby. That's what I want to see. Now, he's going to switch to his Blastoise. Of course, we're going to switch to our Chew. Now, this is where it's going to get a little unfortunate, because no matter what we do, for the most part, Chew's going to go down. This Blastoise has access to such powerful attacks, and it hurts really hard. So I'm gonna go with a Thunderbolt right off the bat, Thunderbolt should bring it back down to about half, maybe a little bit more. Um, nope, a little bit, a little bit less than half. Rain Dance, which is perfect. Rain Dance will actually give Thunder now a hundred percent accuracy while it's raining. This also means that Water type moves are going to do a substantial amount of damage. Now he does have a Citrus Berry, which he's going to use, but if I'm not mistaken, that's not going to be enough to save Blastoise, and this Thunderbolt should hopefully be enough to take him down. If it's not, that's going to be really, yeah, and we got a crit. I don't think we needed that crit though, based on how much damage we did at first. Level 75, his starter just went down. He's now going to switch to Tyranitar. Uh, when Tyranitar comes out, I'm going to send out Bruce, because we haven't seen Bruce this entire Elite Four session yet. So I'm going to send out Bruce, uh, he's going to send out his Tyranitar, who's going to whip up a Sandstream, Sandstream, which is going to be a Sandstorm. This is going to hurt your Pokemon, but it's also going to hurt all of his Pokemon, except for his Tyranitar. Now it is worth mentioning that Tyranitar is Rock and, uh, Rock and... Dark, so this Brick Break is going to do a tremendous amount of damage, or at least it should. I hope sincerely that it does, if not one shot. Perfect! Bruce, this is why you were worth it, man. Because, baby, you're worth it. Next is going to be an Arcanine. Of course, we're going to switch out. We are going to switch to our very own Poseidon, and we are going to see. Now, Poseidon's going to take damage. So is his Arcanine from the Sandstorm. But 
I'm very curious to see. Uh, he's We are going to take damage because obviously his Arcanine is going to be a lot faster than our Vaporeon. But for the most part, I don't think we're going to lose any Pokemon in this fight. Just due to planning, honestly. And that's cool. Because I planned this team in the very beginnings of this of this LP. I planned this team and it worked out really well. All right. He's going to use Extreme Speed. It's not going to do much against us. We're going to use Surf against this Arcanine, which is going to do a whole lot of damage. Uh, especially since we're now holding that Mystic Water. Yeah, it's enough to take down Arcanine. It probably would not have been enough to take him down if we weren't holding that... Um, that that mystic water now he's going to send out his executor and of course we're going to send out our Topher, who of course is going to rely on that mega horn now he has two pokemon left two pokemans left sandstorm rages oh <sighs> that's not going to hurt us at all because obviously we are a part ground type now i'm going to use mega horn that's going to take out his executor executor down now here's the real challenge a pokemon that could potentially sweep our entire team because it is just virtually that strong. Next is going to be his final Pokemon, his Alakazam, that is now level 73. It's not going to outspeed us, surprisingly. Our Nidoking should be able to outspeed this Alakazam, and I'm hoping, yes! We just beat Pokemon Fire Red. And we didn't lose a single Pokemon in that battle against our rival. Because of planning, guys. That's how well that just went. Champion Friesen just went down. No, that can't be. You beat me at my best. After all that work to become the lead champ, my reign is over already. It's not fair. Sucks to suck, dude. Why? Why did I lose? I never made any mistakes raising my Pokemon. Darn it. You're the new Pokemon League champion, although I don't like to admit it. Corey. Oh, so you've won. Sincerely, congratulations. You're the new Pokemon League champion. You've grown up so much since you first left with Charmander to work on the Pokedex. Cory, you have come of age. Frazen, I'm disappointed in you. I came when I heard you'd beaten the Elite Four, but when I got here, you had already lost. Frazen, do you understand why you lost? You have forgotten to treat your Pokemon with love and trust. Without them, you will never become a champ again. Cory. You understand that your victory was not just your own doing. The bond you share with your Pokemon and viewers is marvelous. Cory, come with me. Nice! Pokemon Fire Red. Wow. This journey began so long ago. <coughs> Congratulations, Cory. This floor is the Pokemon Hall of Fame. Pokemon League champions are honored for their exploits here. Their Pokemon are also recorded in the Hall of Fame. Cory! You have worked hard to become the new league champion. Congratulations, Corey. You and your Pokemon are Hall of Famers. They grow up so fast. And let's go ahead and take a look at the team that carried us all this way. All this way. I missed him so much. Charizard Bahamut. Welcome, dude. You did so good. Chew, Pandy Chew, Raichu, you were so good. Bruce, so many people wanted Bruce Lee after Hitmonlee. Poseidon, so many people named it. And Topher, what an excellent name for that. It was named after Toph from Avatar. And of course, our shiny Clefable, guys, because we had a damn shiny Clefable on our team because we were that lucky. And of course, us, because we're that great. There we go. Don't bother looking at that time. Pretend it doesn't exist. League champion, congratulations. <sighs> we did it, guys. And as we continue on our Pokemon journey, a never-ending journey that I started 20 years ago, roughly, with the original games, I have to tell you that this was an incredibly fun Incredibly fun experience. Now, excuse me, because I have to go record some Kingdom Hearts. And you guys can expect to see that soon on the channel. Thank you all very much for your support during this series. It has been absolutely wonderful. Uh, Pokemon means a lot to me. It always has. To, ha to be able to share this game with you guys has been wonderful. To be able to complete it. A dream. I know it took a very long time due to my own uh, time budgeting stuff. But uh, we're, we finally did it, guys. We finally did it. Thank you for all of you who stuck around. You're beautiful. I'll see you guys soon. Never give up. 
never surrender. <laughs>